What can you tell us in terms of your expectations here uh, in treating what I know is going to be first healthy patients in your uh, in your sample? Hey, David, thanks for having me on the show. I'm happy to give you an update on EIDD 2801, which is a potent oral antiviral against many coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Just to run you through recent timelines, we received FDA clearance a week ago to initiate human studies with 2801. On Thursday, the MHRA, which is essentially the equivalent of the UK's FDA, gave us the approval to go forward with the human studies. The very next day, we screened 80 people for the trial and we dosed our first person with the drug this morning. In this study, we're looking to confirm the very studies. And we're also looking to find the proper dose needed to achieve the blood levels that we know will kill the virus. I must say that all of this is a result of a tremendous effort by the FDA and the MHRA who have worked tirelessly and efficiently to compress a multi-month process into a few weeks. It also must be right. said, um, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Wendy, I want to I wanna stop you there if I can, because I think timing is obviously what everybody's so focused on and you're moving very quickly. You're in trials now, you've just begun. What are your expectations in terms of moving from what I know is a period where you're trying to understand the dosing uh, to actually uh, using this in people who have the virus? Thanks. So to answer your question easily, we plan on doing the phase one work and confirming dose in the next few weeks um, and then moving to patients immediately. And this is being done with a team of people from Ridgeback Bio, Emory's Drive, as well as our CRO Covance, who've been working around the clock, seven days a week, through Easter, Passover, Good Friday, to make this happen. Uh, and the FDA is also uh, focused on the protocol and watching these tests. You're working in conjunction with both the UK, Absolutely. I know is where you're doing it, but the FDA is also signed on? Absolutely. The FDA has been tremendous. Commissioner Hahn has been incredible and helpful, and we plan on initiating studies in the U.S. very shortly. Um, so why are you positive on, on, or why do you think that you have a chance here? So the data that we have to look to is our animal data, which in many lethal coronaviruses, in all that we know of, um, this drug is incredibly active. It's an oral drug. That's really important because if you really want to fight a virus, you got to fight it at home. Our goal is to keep people out of the hospitals, off ventilators, and out of the ICU. The only way to really do that is with an oral drug. You go into your doctor, you don't feel well, and you're able to get a five-day treatment course, you stay at home. We, we're hoping to take this vicious virus and turn it into the common cold. Um, in order to do that, if in fact you are, and obviously everybody hopes uh, you do have success here, you also would need, I would think, to manufacture at scale. Given the timing constraints here, uh, the need for this as soon as is possible. What are you doing in terms of ramping up manufacturing? So Ridgeback Bio has a history of manufacturing at risk. And when I say at risk, which means manufacturing in advance of efficacy data. We did that with our Ebola antibody and we're going to be doing it here. Um, now, there was money allocated towards this very process, I believe, in the CARES Act. Is that something that's going to be available to you or you're willing to actually undertake what I would assume would be fairly expensive uh, or uh, uh, costly uh, ramp up at this point at risk the whole way? So we're very grateful to the president and to Congress for passing the CARES Act. This is a perfect example of bipartisan effort to provide funding for diagnostics and for treatments as well as vaccines. Um, we've been on the phone with Congress people and senators all week who are focused on success. Uh, we submitted a full proposal to the federal government in advance of the CARES Act, but we've not heard anything back from them. So you haven't heard anything at this point yet in terms of whether there's going to be any funding available for you to ramp up in anticipation of the drug showing success in trial? Correct. But the reality is, is that we will do whatever we need to do to support this drug and to help with this virus. We want to beat the virus. America wants to beat the virus. The world wants to beat the virus. And we will do our part. Um, Wendy, what about mutations? You know, you hear about this as a possibility, that the virus will constantly be mutating. 
if your your antiviral shows some success, will we know that it will be successful come the fall as well? If in fact it's available as an oral uh, medication. So the beauty of 2801 is that it works across pan coronaviruses. So every coronavirus we have tested it on, it works. And finally, uh, just back to the timeline. Um, you're hoping to move into trials with people who actually have the virus when? Our goal is to get into patients by May.